Today, the Pentagon announced a new $2 billion weapons package to Ukraine, including some of the latest war defense innovation made right here in the U.S. At the University of Oklahoma, an advanced radar research center is the training ground for some brilliant young engineers advancing the latest radar technologies being deployed to war zones. Correspondent Marky Martin joins us live from the University of Oklahoma. Marky, this is all about keeping the U.S. military prepared. Hey, Nicole, yeah, really neat story tonight. OU is really at the forefront of universities, taking the collegiate charge, if you will, uh, when it comes to making sure that we are safe here on American soil. Uh, from research uh, and radar detection to military engineering, artificial intelligence, students here on campus are getting real world hands on training when it comes to ensuring that American troops, defense systems, and even our allies are safe from enemy forces. Nestled in Norman at the University of Oklahoma is the Advanced Radar Research Center. You would just deploy this and it would go around and measure and tell you exactly what the radar is doing. Where skies truly the limit. Dedicated to advancing radar science, it's the training ground for some of the country's most brilliant budding engineers. This is the power traveling through the filter across frequency. Like PhD student Rachel, who's building her own microwave filter. This would be very important for the US military. Yes, to make sure that frequencies are going where they should and not going where they shouldn't. And KB, who helped design and outfit this radar drone in his master's program. If there's a radar deployed in a, in a war zone, this system could realistically be applied there. OU is planning a flag in the defense space. And global events have heightened its hoisting. My initial reaction, if I go back 12 months, was it's a pretty stark reminder that evil does exist in this world. When Russia invaded Ukraine a year ago, the conflict gave gravity to collegiate curriculum from international relations to cybersecurity. There's a criticism that the military is always fighting the last war. We need to make sure that they're ready to fight the next one. Dr. Dean Haugen is OU's interim director of computer science. He and his students have taken a close look at mass drone fleets, robots, artificial intelligence, all of which have been deployed in Ukraine. There are the technologies being developed in terms of artificial intelligence, machine learning, that are so completely applicable to the challenges that we're facing. And and over in mechanical engineering, students are developing prototypes that would protect American troops in future battles. One is blast impact on hearing, developing new kind of ear protection systems so for the soldiers and everybody. So that's one project that's well into. Then there are other projects looking at traumatic brain injury. Also on campus, an electromagnetically shielded anechoic chamber. We do a lot of testing in here and it's uh, really exciting. This is an anechoic chamber. <laughs> To an outsider, at first glance, this pyramid spiked room is an idyllic playground. You can't touch it. Okay. <laughs> but critical research happens here. Even the Army uses anechoic chambers to test radio frequencies used by soldier technologies and vehicles. The drone we saw outside is also flown in here. This room is really for fundamental research because it helps us characterize in a completely sterile electromagnetic environment, various antennas, various transmitters, without any kind of stray radiation from the exterior. With seven major military installations across the state, Oklahoma has long been defense friendly. Ukrainian troops are currently training on American-made missile defense systems over at Fort Sill. We need to remember that this is not a situation in a vacuum. Other countries are watching very closely. Dr. Mark Raymond, Associate Director for the Oklahoma Aerospace and Defense Innovation Institute, says while there's no plausible scenario we see this kind of conflict within the United States, Americans can't turn a blind eye. The well-being of people in other places has a very direct effect on it. the United States economy economic prosperity. There are all of those kinds of social effects as well that we shouldn't lose sight of because they affect people's mental health and well-being, they affect their productivity, they affect uh, the strength of their families. In the meantime, OU students continue their own training for all the global events that lie ahead. You're going to go change the world. Hopefully. Yeah. That's, that's what we're hoping for. 
Yeah, Nicole, we met with some of the most brilliant minds yesterday and, and important to note and fair to note too, much of this research, some of these departments uh, were already in play before the invasion, but certainly no doubt about it, the last 12 months have given added impetus to the importance of these initiatives now as this conflict rages on in its second year. Nicole. Yeah, year two. Okay, Marky, thank you for that. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.